Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to export and import Power Automate desktop flows. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, like, Daniel, exporting and importing flows is easy, ah, but that's where you're confused because this is Power Automate desktop flows and it works completely different as the cloud flows. And I'll give you a tip, it all has to do with solutions. So stick around, this is very important, not just to learn how to do this, but also improve your overall knowledge of Power Automate desktop and solutions. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. And first, let me just answer the question as to why is the desktop flow different than the cloud flow? And to prove that, here I am on my Cloudflow side, I've signed in through the browser, and I'm in an environment of my choice, I have my flows. So if I go and just randomly select any one of them, if I select it, and if I go and click on the three dots over here, and if I go and scroll down a little bit, you see you have the option to go and export it. This is what I mean, is that over here on the Cloudflow, it's very intuitive. You see the flow, you click on the ellipses, you scroll down, you can go and export it. Now that you see this, let's switch gears and take a look at it from the desktop flow side, all right? So I'm on my desktop flow, selected the environment of my choice, but when I go and randomly select any one of these things, uh, I don't see the option to go ahead and export any of them. And just to make sure I've only selected one, I don't see the option to go ahead and export it. See, clicked on the ellipses, don't see that option. Just to prove a point, I go and click over here, also don't see that. And I see a copy to, option to create a copy, create a desktop shortcut. Heck, even if I go and click on properties in the general or in the detail tab, I just don't see the option to go and export it. But I really need that flexibility because in one environment, I might actually go and build some testing. And then I need to go ahead and export that into the actual production environment or even export that into an actual production tenant. I could be doing that as well. So now I'm gonna walk you through how you do this using solutions. And for that, we need to switch back over to the actual Power Automate Cloud site, that is through the browser. So this is my initial environment where I'm gonna go and create the solution, all right? So you gotta do that the exact same thing. It could just be initial environment, uh, or it could be the initial tenant. It all works the exact same way. Um, so here it is. I'm gonna now go ahead and pick, say, this is the actual flow that I wanna go do, uh, which is exporting. But, but I need to actually go and build the solution first. So I'm gonna click on the solutions on the left-hand side. Uh, once it comes up, we are going to now go ahead and create a new solution. Now, I am creating a new solution. In your case, you might already have a solution that you can use for whatever is your need, all right? So since this is a fresh demo uh, from the beginning, I'm actually creating a new solution. So I'm gonna go and give it a name. I'm gonna call that as a live demo and I'm gonna leave that as is. For the publisher one, you can pick a publisher of your choice. I'll go and select default as is. And then in the more options, again, pick and choose what you wanna do. Uh, by default, it is unmanaged. I'm gonna leave it as that, and I'm just gonna go and click on create. So now it's actually going and building the solutions, and once it's done building the solutions, it automatically reroutes you to the place where you go and select all the objects that you wanna go and add into the solution. And by objects, it could be the apps, the flows, the chatbots, the tables, basically all the objects or the stuff that you wanna put over here. Now here's where it gets very interesting because remember your desktop flow is already there. You are not preparing a new one. You just wanna go and get an existing desktop flow. So don't accidentally click on this plus new, click on the add existing dropdown. Once you come over here, go ahead and click on automation and then select desktop flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my desktop flow and now I'm actually gonna capture which one I wanted. So here's the one I'm gonna get. Get updates of multiple tracking numbers dash new. That's the one that I'm gonna select. After I do that, the add button on the bottom gets highlighted. So I'll go and click on add, and now it is going in and importing that. So it does that automatically, all right? Not automatically, we did it. But as you can see, the number over here for desktop flows automatically updated to number one. So we are actually done on this side. Now what I wanna do is go back to the solutions and my solutions, this new solutions, select the one that we just created called live demo. And after that, I'm gonna select the option to export the solution. So you can also go and do a solution checker ahead of time. I think that's a good practice. So at least go and do that run once. But in this demo, and since I'm just showing it to you for a specific purpose, I'm gonna skip the solution checker. For your production type of work, your actual work, you always wanna do a solution checker, all right? Uh, but I'll go and click on export solution. Now it's asking me, do you wanna go and publish it? You know what, I think I'll go and do publishing. 
always a good practice remember first to go and do a solution checker then to go ahead and do a publish so let it go and do publish all the customizations and once that's done we'll go and click on next perfect publishing is completed and now i'll go and click on next and over there i'll leave things as is i mean depending on what you're doing if you're moving it to another testing or development type of a environment uh, then you want to go and change that to unmanaged but remember the concept of this one is just to go and do the export or import so i'll leave this as is and now i'll go and click on export all right so once it completes it on the top left it'll say currently exporting solution and it gives you the solution name, which in our case is live demo. So I'm gonna wait for this to complete because once it does, we will have a nice green banner on the top. There you go, it says exported successfully, love that green banner, but now take your attention to the right side because on the right, underneath the search is where you have the download button, right? If your screen is too wide, you might miss that and you're trying to figure out, okay, where do I download it from? It's a little button on the right side, it's called download. So I'll go and select it and now it says downloaded, which means you'll probably find that in your download folder, all right? Uh, so we are done now in the initial environment. I want to go ahead and move that over to now the production environment or the destination environment. And so for that, I'm going to go over now to the actual environment that I want to move it to. So I'm going to call that as my managed solutions environment, all right? That's where I want it. So again, in my managed solutions environment, here we are going to import the solution. So now I go and click on the import, I select browse, and in my browse, we are going to go and click on the one that we just imported, the live demo one. It gave me a number, it gave me a managed, perfect. Click on open. Um, I don't want to do anything else. I just got to click on next and now it'll just basically do some verification. Yeah, I will click on the advanced settings too. Okay, I'm just going to leave all the defaults as is. Click on import and now it is initiating the import. It says it is currently importing the solution. You can see that text on the top left and now we just wait because it will finish off and it will give us that nice green banner saying it's successfully imported. Okay. Okay, so we didn't get a green banner, but hey, at least it said that the import was successfully with warnings. The warnings, why? Because we did not do any validation check. Remember, that's what I was saying, use the solution checker. In our case, I didn't do that, but hey, at least the whole solution came through. And here we go, it is the live demo one. So if I go and select on it, uh, we will see that it has actually gone ahead and successfully imported it. And there you go, here is our flow. But the ultimate test is checking it in two places. When we go up to the actual cloud flows, I'm switching over to correct environment. Uh, I go to my flows and in my flows, I go and take a look at the desktop flows. We will now see that, ah, there you go. It just came in. See, 52 seconds ago, it just came in. But, but it's a desktop flow. So can we go and see it on our desktop? Let's go see. So I'm opening up my desktop section over here. This is my desktop app running on my Windows 11 machine. Uh, I'll switch environments and I'm going to go into my managed solutions. And my managed solution, it's saying getting all your flows, which means it's kind of syncing up with the cloud flows. And underneath my flows now, there you go. We should see the latest one that we just imported successfully using solutions. And this is the only way you can go and do an export and an import of the desktop flows. Now I get it. Hindsight's always 2020 because now that I've shown it to you, it just makes sense that, oh yeah, we should do it through solutions. But there's a key takeaway over here is that Microsoft is heading in the direction as solutions for everything. So stop building classic flows and classic Canvas apps. First, go ahead and build your solution. And in the solution, go ahead and create all the flows, not just the desktop flows, all the flows, all your apps, all your connectors, the connection references, everything, because solutions is the way to go. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Power Automate desktop flows. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.